Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to do another episode of my underrated brands. I really think Clinique is an underrated brand, at least in the beauty influencer space. I don't see a lot of my peers talking about Clinique, but they've been around for so long. It's like, you know, a heritage brand basically. And I feel like they were the original cool girl makeup, like before the Glossier, before the Milk, they kind of were doing, you know, the crayon formulations and the really cute fresh packaging and stuff and I have always really liked them but I do feel like I don't use it as much because I get bombarded with so much PR so I've been really conscious about when I do these videos to make sure that I'm buying at least most of the products so that it's a really unbiased review because I know that otherwise a lot of my content's going to be filled with the same products that you're already seeing on social media and um, that's no bueno in my eyes. I'll just pin this rogue fringe out of the way. Okay, so I bought in, they had like a 30% off sale around, around Thanksgiving last year. So I took advantage of it and they also gave me like gifts with purchase that were really good. Um, so I've got a bunch of stuff, namely my old favorites that I used to love, like the Clinique Chubby Sticks. And I love their blushes. So I bought highlighter, bronzer. I bought a foundation, an eyebrow product. There's a lip stick here and the Clinique Moisture Surge, a full size. And this was actually a gift with purchase of my purchase. I think it's been about $300 on the website. And they just sent me this whole big moisturizer and it came with an eye serum and mist and everything. I was like, ah, thought it was really good. You know, I, sometimes I really miss shopping at department stores because you get such good gifts with purchase. Anywho, got some old faves um, here. I didn't buy everything but i definitely plan to because i do love clinique something that i love is their packaging you can't see it from this but they have this really nice green color which kind of matches my 30 years outfit today um the ones with the floral design i just like stared at it when i bought it because it was so pretty i thought these guys have such nice fresh youthful makeup but it works for any age so i'm gonna get into doing a look and talking through the products and what i think about it let's go now when i ordered these products i did get a dm from someone saying that the moisture surge cream is life-changing so i'm gonna apply that as my primer because i did not buy a primer this looks like a gel texture under or over makeup use as a five minute moisture mask if you want allergy tested 100 percent fragrance free Wow. Clinique is definitely also known for their skincare, I feel like. Oh, this feels nice. But often I find that gels don't layer well for me under foundation. So let's see if there's any pilling. That feels so nice. I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of got like a slippery feeling. My hand is gliding over my face. Okay, foundation. I bought the Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. There was a Clinique foundation, the one that had the doe foot. Oh, I can't remember what it was called, but I really liked that foundation and used it for quite a long time on my videos. Um, but I haven't used that in such a long time and I threw it out in one of my declutterings that I did. So let's try this and I guessed my color, but I found that they had a really good way of guessing your color because they have the neutrals, the warms, the cools. And I just guess, usually if I get a neutral, it works. So I'm going to use that. I got CN40. Oh, hey, that looks about right. I love it when I get it right. I shook it. Oh, very thin. Oh, it looks great. I um denied over the color for a long time because sometimes I get multiple, but I just took a bet that I could get it right the first time. Now I'm just going to do a light coverage because I also bought this chubby sticks and I want to layer them and like test out how this light coverage looks and then build up with the chubby sticks to something a little bit more full on. Oh my gosh, this color is perfect. Gosh, I've gotten really good at choosing foundation shades online. I'm looking into this all. Cute. That's nice and fresh. Skin looks lit from within instantly and over time. Oil free, shake well. Hmm, okay, I'm seeing some flakies over here. Can you see it as it brushed into my hairline? I think that's from the moisturizer. Maybe I should have waited longer before applying the foundation. Cause honestly, usually I'd put moisturizer on like in my skincare routine 
and then by the time I get around to doing my foundation it's like 30 minutes later let me just try patting it it's a really nice light I put such a small amount on it's a really nice light coverage it's not concealing some of the redness that I have there. It didn't conceal that scar that I have from a pimple. Pretty happy with that. I can tell it would be nice if I didn't use the moisturizer underneath without such a little time passing. Now I'm going to use, and I love brow stuff. So I bought the Just Browsing Brush On Styling Mousse in Deep Brown. Oh, my hands are slippery from the moisturizer. That's what it looks like. Just looks like every other mini eyebrow gel I've ever had but the color looks good it doesn't look too warm or anything I'm really into just using brow gel at the moment oh I always get it on my eyelid nice got this little Clinique touch base which is a little eye primer and blanka touch base for eyes <laughs> blanka just helps make your eyelids look blank I think a primer it's a cute little like jade looking marble container really nice and light how that's all looking I personally really like that for an everyday I do wonder how this sheer to moderate coverage okay so you can build it up do you think I should build it up it always makes me laugh when I ask you guys because it's not like you can answer me in real time by the time you see this I will be on the couch Probably onto the seventh Marvel movie. Me and Sebra are watching the Marvel movies in order. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm just gonna dab a little bit more of this into the center of my face where I need some coverage. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just gonna use dabbing motion so that I don't get any pilling. Because I was so generous with that moisturizer, but I tell you what, my skin looks and feels really nice. You can see the luminosity coming through. Now I've actually had these Clinique blushes for a while. It's the Cheek Pop. And this is a color I don't use much, so I'm gonna try it today. But I really like these because they're nice and sheer, but buildable. I find this powder is so smooth. You can even see, that, see it there. Like it's so smooth, it looks shiny, but it's not shimmery. It definitely has a luminosity to it, but it's not, it's not shimmery. Anyway, I'm gonna use that as eyeshadow because I just wanna do a really like barely there look first. And I don't actually have any Clinique eyeshadows. I feel like they mostly focus on complexion, right? So we'll just use some of these for the eyes. I do love how smooth and subtle that is, and that's with one layer, but as you can see on my cheeks, it'd be really nice and soft on me, and then it's also really easy to build up. Plus they have, you know, more brighter colors. I only have a few of the shades, I think, but yeah, that's definitely a more muted color that is really good for pale people. I'll add a bit of chubby highlight stick and I love these. I've had these before. I just threw them out recently again because I'd had them for like six years. <laughs> so that's what they look like. They're really fat. How much do you get in them? Six grams. Six grams, but you get that much, which is meh. It's probably, looks like more than you get in a pot. We'll see. Anyway, I love anything that's in a crayon because it's so easy to travel with and throw it in your purse so you can touch up throughout the day while you're at work or while you're on vacation. And the formula on these is really nice. So nice. They've also got little chubby stick contour. So I'll just put a very small amount here. I do find that it's quite ready or bronzy as, as opposed to contour. Comes out really nice. You can see the difference, right? Look at that highlight, so pretty. Adding a bit of the blush. See how pretty that is? Especially when I'm pale, I find that adding a bit of blush to other areas of my face like nose and forehead really help to bring a bit more warmth and dimension to my face without going overboard on bronzer and like changing the look of my skin tone with that. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? So. That's why I do that. Oh, I love how natural this is looking. What do you guys think? Okay, now I don't have a concealer, so... Oh, that looks a bit deep. Let me check if I have concealer. Maybe I do. Nope. No tengo concealer. I'll put a little bit of the chubby stick, the foundation stick here. And I'll dab that. Oh, that works pretty well. Going around the edge of my mouth. You can see that there's like 
discoloration there. I don't know where that's from. I had I had a lip tattoo. I think it's maybe fading or something uneven. Now, I've been working on this camera quality with Seba. I think you can see my skin really well, right? It looks nice in these products if you like natural stuff. And then I got this nice little nude lipstick. It's 01 Barely in the Dramatically Different Lipstick. It's got one of those moisture cores and the packaging is really cute. Love it. Let's go. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> That's nice. It's actually a bit paler than I thought it would look on me. But I like that. Normally pales don't work on me, but I feel like this is this is nice. And I'm just going to put a Too Faced concealer on because I don't have a Clinique concealer. I used to. <sighs> So I'm just going to do like a very light coat just to finish off this very barely there look. There we have it. That's our barely there Clinique fresh face look. Look, that's so nice. I love it. Hmm. I've definitely always liked their skin products. So there's this look. Now, let's try to build up some coverage. I'm going to add that stick just in certain areas where I like to be a bit more covered. I've got this color too. Contour a bit more. All right, let's do it to it and I'll start with the light shades. Super easy to blend in. I could literally do this with my fingers without even looking at my face. Ooh, that laid up really nicely and I honestly don't think I used that much either. So it's good to know that you can layer up really well. I put a little bit of chubby stick blush in Plumped Up Peony. Oh, I love a sheer blush. Oops, that got a bit high there, didn't it? Looks like a little love heart. Adding a bit more mascara. Just to amp it up. Okay, a little bit of bronzer to warm things up. My neck's actually a little bit darker than my face, so let's do that. This is the Powder Pop Flower Bronzer, and it's in that same awesome formula that I love where the powder is really finely milled and as you can see, it's got like a luminosity to it, even though it's not shimmery or anything, like it's just really nice and quite unique to my collection. So I'm gonna add that onto my fluffy brush. And of course the embossing is so pretty. And then the Powder Pop Flower Highlighter, same look, and it's definitely a shimmery highlight, but still fine. So it looks more like a the Lit From Within glow look. See, it's not like blinding, and that's really what we want in 2021, right? The glazed donut days are definitely over in my opinion. Well, for me anyways. Obviously, if you like it, go for a girlfriend. Just connecting the brow bone highlight to my cheek there, and that looks like really pretty, I like that. I see makeup artists doing that, so I'm gonna do that. Also bought, now this is honestly, this is the end of the look because I've already used all the products that I got. This is, hold on a sec. It's my face halo, getting ready for another lip product. Clinique Chubby Stick Moisturizing Lip Balm in Super Strawberry. So it looks like a big old crayon. Subtle. You can probably apply it with your eyes closed. Okay. I upped the look a little bit, not too much. Let me add a little bit more blush. I feel like I should have put this on in the first look, the simple look, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm gonna use Pink Honey Pop Blush. Ooh, okay, skin up close again. I 
Hopefully I haven't missed any spots because I don't actually have a mirror in front of me. I've been using this. Well, I'm impressed. They've definitely got the skin thing down pat. Well guys, that's it. I just tried a bunch of new and well-loved Clinique stuff to get two kind of different vibey looks. Nothing too over the top because I just feel like that's not Clinique's look anyway. So I wanted to do something on the more wearable side. Um, but yeah, I really am loving this brand. I know their stuff is non-comedogenic. It's doctor tested and stuff. So definitely good for you ingredients and if you're prone to breakouts and stuff this is one of the brands that i would personally recommend um so yeah i love their products especially love you know all of the chubby sticks and any of their powder color products like the the blush and the highlight and the bronzer is so so nice so totally love that um the foundation as well love it i'm actually going to keep this in my bathroom because i think it's a really nice everyday product that i can just quickly pop on and as I said allergy tested fragrance free so if you have sensitive skin I feel like Clinique is a good brand to go with um yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what other brands you want to see me do next and I'll see you then bye